What is up, my friends? This is Stackers Argentius here coming at you once again with a little topic of conversation. This has been kind of a difficult video for me to film just because it's uh, kind of goes in several different directions. I want to keep it as concise as possible. So please bear with me. Um, I'm using today as a prop. I have uh, $5 in silver uh, dimes right here. I figured um, my trip to the uh, to Trader Joe's, I'm gonna need about $5, so I decided to take some silver dimes, maybe buy like a loaf of bread or something. And then right here, I have my pyramid. And then, um, so right here, I have this box right here. This is a, a false unboxing. Obviously, you can see that it's been uh, opened in the past, but uh, let me share this and then get right to it. So right here, I have what they call a uh, steam round. This is uh, from a community that I was part of. Well, I guess I'm still nominally a part of it. Um, it's, a, it's a community on this website called steamit.com. And uh, Steam is a cryptocurrency that uh, users are rewarded with as they make quality content. The community rewards them by using uh, something called Steam Power. And so they use their steam power to uh, to like or comment on other people's content, and that will actually monetize their post. And when I say monetize, like you get rewarded in this cryptocurrency that you could then um, convert into Bitcoin. Uh, it, this was a lot bigger a couple of years ago, uh, and then like you know last year we saw like the the whole crypto thing kind of implode. Um, but I learned a lot from the community. It was kind of like my premiere into blogging and talking about uh, silver silver uh, matters. Anyway, this is a round that they created, the community created together. And uh, this is uh, actually produced by the, uh, the Feli Mint, uh, Feli Mint. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they do amazing work. And I've seen some of their work here on YouTube as well. I'm going to link them in the description if I'm able. And uh, this is the this is a cool symbology of the um, of the, the community altogether. So small, like very small accounts, people with not much um, steam power were called um, minnows. So you can see there's minnows. And then as you get more powerful in the community, as you get more steam power and uh, just more social weight, you start to grow. You grow and then you become a dolphin and then eventually you become a whale. I guess they used, um, it looks like an orca whale, but it could be like a blue whale. It looks like an orca though. Yeah. So this is a cool, really, really amazing symbology of the community on steam it. And I really love this round because, uh, it really symbolizes the, um, the learning experience and the time I had on Steemit and um, just really gaining a real understanding of what silver is. And I coupled that with my education on YouTube as well. 999 fine silver, one ounce, argent pur. That's my, <laughs> that's my attempt at French. Yeah, so anyway, this, this is a 2017, by the way. So anyway, that aside, oh, this is... Um, this is uh, the the hundredth, the hundredth out of uh, hundred. Uh, sorry, one thousand five hundred. So, this is um, pretty low mintage, and I don't know if it's worth anything. But I'm not gonna sell it. This is, has like some sentimental value. Uh, anyway, how that? I'm gonna keep this out of the box. How that pertains to what I wanted to discuss today is uh, primarily. It, it primarily talks about community. Um, like there's there's been, I see that there's been some um, controversy on our in our uh, YouTube silver community and I just wanted to uh, discuss what my thoughts were in regards to that. There seems to be uh, two schools of thought, two um, two camps, if you will. One uh, it, and it really has to do with monetiz monetization, and this pertains specifically to the channel bars. Uh, which I have one coming in the mail. Um, I'll do a unboxing on that on uh, some later date when it comes in. Um, yeah, so there's two schools of thought. Uh, I think the channel bars are pretty damn cool. Um, 
you know, I, I heard that uh, from a couple different channels, you know, some people, you know, uh, they, they vehemently oppose the idea of monetizing channels on YouTube. And they're like, uh, you know, they, I, they, I guess they have legitimate concerns. They, um, they don't like the idea of, um, they think it's some sort of exploitation, I guess you could say, uh, exploitation in a sense that, uh, we're building a community here and then, um, there's going to be some channels that, uh, they, they make a lot of content. They, uh, they gain a lot of popularity and then with that popularity, they sell a product to their customers and they have some sort of moral objection to that. The people that are opposed to that have a moral objection. And then there's another school of thought that, um, you know, they're just, uh, they're just offering, uh, their time and service and stuff. And they just want to do, uh, like offer like a little momento, m momento to the community. And, um, you know, I get that and I don't fully understand full, full aspects of both sides of the argument, but my thoughts on the matter are, um, pretty simple. I believe in free market capitalism. I think that, um, I think that, uh, we, we should live in a free trade society where, you know, people have the freedom to associate or offer anything to their communities so long that it does not hurt or violate the rights of another individual. That's simply put, simply put, you may not like the products that are put out there. You may think that they're, you know, wasteful or like a waste of money or whatever. You might think it's exploitative, but do you know what? No one is forcing anybody to buy this stuff. And it's just, uh, it's just a, a, an offering on the market. I think that the, the free market is like the best tool, like the best invention of mankind thus far. Uh, there's nothing that functions quite like it. Um, although there's a lot of people that uh, oppose it, they think that uh, their little understandings can uh, trump the workings of the free market. Um, just like the, the arrogance in some people is just insane. Uh, they think they could control all aspects of the the the, um, the economy. And it, it's just, it's kind of sad. Every time the economy has been, it's, it, there's been an attempt at controlling it. It's ended up in disaster, i.e. communism. Anyway, this is not really a, um, this is not really a political rant. Uh, it's not supposed to be. It's just, it's my thoughts on, uh, this issue of like, you know, the community. I believe that communities are strong when they support each other. And sometimes uh, uh, an offering in your community works and sometimes it doesn't. But who's to say that, oh, you shouldn't do that because it's exploitative. It's only exploitative if you're forcing people to buy your product and no one is forcing anybody to buy anyone's product. I just believe that we should be transparent about what we're doing and um, try to provide the best content. And if people want to support your channel, why not? Why not uh, offer something to them where they could remember you by or, you know, anything like that? Uh, that's pretty much my thoughts on it. Uh, I hope you, uh, it's something to consider. I know that trigger words nowadays are free market and capitalism, but uh, I know that there's probably a good amount of you guys, uh, silver stackers, that understand what capitalism truly is, and that it's uh, it's the there's no better alternative really. If you could think if you could think of something better, I hope it works. But um, so far, nothing, N nothing of the sort works better than capitalism does. And um, yeah, that's that. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day, and keep on stacking. And keep on making the best content for our community. Anyway, I'd love to hear your uh, thoughts, comments, you know, your uh, your your triggered responses, anything like that. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like my content. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon.